Hello students, welcome to mathematics class. In today's class, let us continue exercise number 4.2. Okay, questions based on theorem number 1 and 2. Okay, so let us see it now. See here, prove that the angle between the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary. Do the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact at the center. So, figure is not given. How to draw the figure for this? Okay, see here, prove that the angle between the tangents drawn from an external point means what? One circle you have to draw, one external point you have to draw. From the external point, I have to draw two tangents. Okay, shall we draw this? Now, see here, everyone, draw circle. Okay, from an external point, two tangents can be drawn. Okay, so I have drawn two tangents. Okay, children. So now see here, let me cut it for two points. Here, one point uh, P, this is Q. Okay, this is center O. This is M, this can be A, O. Okay, children. So A is the external point. A, B, and A, Q are the tangents. Okay, then what they said, according to that, and how to prove. So it is proof. Okay, see here. Prove that the angle between the two tangents, this angle between two tangents, between two tangents, angle forms here. Yes? So, angle between the two tangents, drawn from an external point to a circle. Drawn from an external point to a circle. Okay, this one okay, so is supplementary to whom to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact. Means line segment will join the point of contact. Okay, so like this. this. Got it? So this is the figure. So this is angle subtended at the angle. And this is angle at the center. Angle at the center and angle subtended at the tangents. They are, they are supplementary means I have to prove. I have to prove they are supplementary in the sense. In the sense, this angle at the center of the way angle B O Q. Angle B O Q plus. Angle B A Q. Angle B A Q is equal to 180 degree means I have to prove. They are supplementary means I have to prove. Okay, so to prove this, what is all given? Let us write first. Okay, see here. What is given in the problem? Given O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. Then A is the external point. A is the external point. A is the external point. Then A, B and A, Q are the tangents from an external point. Yes, no? A, B and A, Q are the tangents. Are the tangents. On the tangents. Okay, children. So they are the tangents. Now, what to prove in this? See here. To prove. To prove. Or to prove. Angle P O A. Angle at the center. And P A Q. Angle subtracted at the tangent. To the tangent and forming one angle. That angle plus this angle. Here there is so much degree. 180 degree supplementary is our two. So we will write here angle B O Q plus angle P A Q is equal to 180 degree. Means you have to put this angle plus this angle together in supplementary is our two. To prove this, what to construct? Nothing is a very simple way you can prove this. Okay, sir. How can we prove this? Okay, you already know that from the theorem number 1. What is 
Ahmed says OP is perpendicular to AP or not, children? So OP is perpendicular to AP. If what is angle OPA? How much degree? 90 degrees. Even angle OQA. Angle Q is equal to how much degree? 90 degrees. That we already know because of theorem number 1. Okay? So can we write now? So where there is a tangent, the radius means an angle of 90 degrees. So we have right here. You already know that. So what? 
what is the answer? What are the answers? They told P M L P A Q plus M L P O O Q is equal to 183. Somehow, and at the center, an angle at the tangent. Something how much degree? 180 degree. So this is the angle over there. Okay, children. So you have to take the angle between the tangents formed from an external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact with the center. You can't understand. You think like this. Angle at the center and angle subtended at the tangents. Some mean 180 degree. That is the meaning of that sentence. And this sentence came up. Cannot make out something like that. So we can understand from our own language. Okay, children. So now angle at the center and angle at the tangent. Together, some means 180 degree. Hence, no means you are correct. Hence, Okay, so hence position. Like this we can write. Okay, hope you all understood. So let us do the next problem now. Okay, write about the next problem. Write the next problem. Okay, problem number eight. Right here, a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral, quadrilateral, A B C D, A B C D is drawn, is drawn, drawn to circumscribe, circumscribe. A circle, circumscribe a circle. Prove that, prove that, prove that, it means prove that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. You have to consider. So, like this, we have to. Now, the figure is given by them. Let us draw the figure. Okay, the figure is like this. One circle is facing. What is this? The meaning of circumscribe means what? Circle inside. Circle is inside the is called as circumscribe means circle inside outside is covered by a quadrilateral four sided figure so this is called as circumscribe okay children so this is called as circumscribe circumscribe Meaning this is this is the figure given here. See everybody. A B C D. Okay. Now the vertices of a quadrilateral. Let me cut the point at B. Q. R. Yes. R. The point of Contact. So this is the figure given. So everybody understood what is the meaning of circumscribe? Quadrilateral inside circle is there. Circumscribe means some four sided figure inside circle will be there. That is called circumscribe. Circle is inside some figure. That is called as circumscribe. Okay. So now see here a quadrilateral ABCD. ABCD is a four sided figure. Is drawn to circumscribe a circle covered by the quadrilateral is there. So then, what you have to do is do that AB plus CB is equal to AD plus BC means AB plus CD. Okay, so for this section, 
is equal to AD plus BC means you have to prove. You have to prove it. So what is given in the figure? Given figure is like this. What is this? ABCD is a quadrilateral. Okay. ABCD is a quadrilateral. AB, BC, CD and DA are the tangents. Can you make out it's a tangent? See, this line that is the circle at one point of contact. That is called as tangent. So this each line of a quadrilateral touches the circle at one point. So each line is called as tangent to that particular circle. Is it okay, children? So now what is given right first? Given, given what we know, children? A B C D is a quadrilateral. A B C D is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Okay, so then in this A B B C C D and D are the tangents to a circle. Okay, so A B B C C D and D are the are the tangents. Are the tangents to a circle? To a circle, circle at point at touches the point P. Q, R and S respectively. Okay, let me cut the points here. A B touches at P, B C at Q, C D at R and D A at S. Yes, you know. So this much you know. Now, what you have to do is to prove or to prove given the what to prove. A B plus C D is equal to AD plus BC. It is side sum is equal means you have to prove. So to prove this, what idea can we use? See here perpendicular was there. Yes, no perpendicular to the tangent. Everything we learned. But here there is no perpendicular idea. But and one more idea is there. Okay, what idea means? We can use here theorem number two. How can we use theorem number two? See here. Can you make out here A? A is an external point to sort of circle. So A is the external point to circle. Yes, A is the outside point. C, but B is the external point. C is the external point. And D is the external point. So when there is an external point, what you can use? You can use theorem number two. From the external point, how many tangents you are drawing? They are always equal, right? So we have to understand that this is the truth. And the construction part is not there. This we can understand here. A is the external point. That idea we have to use. A is the external point, right? A is the external point. If there is an external point, there are two tangents. Smaller tangent. Can you understand? See, from the external point, A B and A S are the tangents. Yes. So A is the external point. A B and A S are the tangents. Are the tangents. They are always. They are always equal, right? Shina? So external point. How many tangents can you draw? Two. They are always having equal in length. Do you agree or not? From an external point, tangent drawn are always equal in length. That idea we have to use here. Is it okay? See here. For that, you can write here. AP is equal to AS. Will you agree? AP is equal to AS. Now, even we can take another. B is the external point. D P and D Q are the tangents. B. So B is the external point. B is the external point. External point. Then which are the tangents? B P and B Q are the tangents. Are the tangents. Tangents are always equals. We can write BP is equal to BQ. Can you agree to that? BP is equal to BQ. So BP is equal to BQ. Okay. 
okay we want to see his external point is from writing every time see his external point see the words are all the tangent you can imagine and write your own words okay i am going to write all the sentences i will just write and in sign see see his external point c r and c q are the tangents they are all big equal similarly similarly we can write c q c r is equal to c q yes then d is the external point d r is equal to d s do you agree so d is the external point d r d r is equal to d s like this you have to write clear so a is the external point a p and d s are the tangents so they are equal b is the external point b p and d q are the tangents they are equal C is the external point. You want me to write it in a particular way, okay? Specify that. Huh? C is the external point. C, Q, and C are the tangents. They are equal. D is the external point. D R is equal to D S. So this idea we can use here to understand. Okay. So now we can write here equation number one. This is two. This is three. This is four. Right. Now see what can we do all these things. What we can do is to get this A B A B A B gets by which to add in C here. A B gets by A B plus B B. See A B gets A B. What we need? We are can add this A B plus B B. Do you agree? A B plus B B. Yes. Here there are different cases. What we can do is. Parallelogram. Parallelogram. 
equal to AP is equal to AS. What I did in the previous problem, right? So AP is equal to AS. Same idea we can put here. BP is equal to BQ. BP is equal to BQ. Even CR is equal to CQ. CR is equal to CQ. CR is equal to C. Even D is like certain point. DR is equal to DS. DR is equal to DS. Okay, this is all I explained in the previous exam. So, I'll say everything we have to follow on second. Okay, now watch your food. Question number one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now, equation number 1, 2, 3, 4, all left hand side you have to have better, even right hand side you have to add. Okay? So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. How can we add here? AP plus BP plus CR plus DR is equal to AS plus Yes. Plus BQ plus CQ. Okay, all of it is over here, over there. Okay, so now we we'll see one step for this. AP plus BP. AP plus BP. Together is AB. 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 Plus CR plus CR. CR plus CR. Together is CD. Then AS plus CS, AS plus CS, together is AD. PQ plus CQ, together is BC. Okay, so see, four terms make two terms, even four terms make two terms. This much we did in the previous term, right? Here, one step extra is what is that see for you? AB plus CD. Is that equal to AD plus BC is AB plus what we can write C. Yes, BC plus what we can apply A. So we apply and do that sum. So AB plus AB means CD plus what can I apply? AB is already given there. AB given. AD plus AD plus we can write DC. Plus BC plus BC. Don't change both. Any one you have to change. CD plus AD plus BC. BC plus BC. Since you already know. Even there. What is that? AD is equal to CD. Even BC is equal to AD. Means even there. That idea we have to use. Now see here. What happens? AD plus AB. 2AB. AB plus AB. Okay. AB plus AB, 2AB is equal to BC plus BC, 2BC. Yes sir. So now through this what we can understand, 2, 2 same, yes it. So AB is equal to BCK. AB is equal to BC. Yes sir. AB is equal to BC. Which, which side is this? See here. AB is this. AB is equal to BC. Opposite side is equal to there. Now, adjacent side is equal to children. Adjacent side is equal to BC. AB is equal to BC. But AB is also equal to whom? C. Right? BC is also equal to whom? AB. All are relatives. All are relatives. See, AB is equal to BC. BC is equal to AD. AD is equal to CD. Just now, all these are relatives. Because of these two things relative means all are relatives. AD is equal to BC. BC is equal to uh, BC is equal to CD. Right first. CD is equal to AD. All four sides are equal in that the program now. It is numbers. Therefore, all sides are equal to. All sides are equal to. So, ABCD is a robust. ABCD is a robust. Okay. 
Okay, so since the all sides are equal, ABC is a robust sign is Right? Okay, so since all sides are equal, ABC is a robust. So like this, we can prove this. Okay, so that's all about today's class. The next class, let us complete this chapter. Till then, take care. Thank you.